So what's up guys, Chunky But Funky here and I'm giving you a tutorial, a Christmas shopping tutorial because you gotta be on fleek when you shopping. Like you can't just go looking all ratchet. Let me tell you why. If you on fleek while you shopping, I can guarantee you that someone's gonna notice and somebody's gonna give you a discount because I've done that before. Like believe me, when I go shopping and I'm like somewhat on fleek, best believe these eyebrows are gonna get me a discount. They are going to get me a discount. So you got to fucking slap some shit on your face. Slap whatever the fuck you could get. If you don't got a lot of time to get ready, slap some shit on your motherfucking face. And put yourself together. And if you want to know how to do this bun, I got a bun tutorial down in my fucking videos for y'all. So get nosy. Look through my shit. Uh, bun tutorial. How I do my buns is in there. So... You can learn how to do this bun. If you don't have time to do your fucking hair, throw yourself in a little cute bun, you know, cute, throw your edges together. But you know what I mean? Just put yourself together, be on fleek, and look at the rest of this video so you can see how I got this look. And Christmas shopping, enjoy your Christmas shopping. Hope everybody has a safe, wonderful, beautiful, nasty Christmas. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas and I hope everybody gets whatever they want whatever they wished for whatever they asked Santa for I love you guys hope you enjoy it so I'm gonna start off by showing you the coconut oil I've been using it I use it on my face on my dark circles it helps lighten them I use it on my eyebrows it's help it's, it helped grow them a little bit and I'm gonna show you the length of my hair because it also helped my hair grow I rub it in my scalp and everything I had a bleaching disaster last year and it was this short and look at how much it's grown it's like really long now because of the coconut oil so I really love it I rub it through my scalp rub it through my hair and once a week I do a full treatment of full coconut oil on my hair and I leave it overnight so now I'm gonna go in with my studio fix Mac foundation that I always use with my real techniques brush that I got at Walmart and you just gotta work it in blend 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 it keep blending it everywhere down your neck in your eyes around your nose make sure you get it really good everywhere cuz I know some bitches that don't know what's up yeah So eyebrows, you use a thin angle brush and the eyebrow palette I use is from Sally's and I'm going to try to get in frame to show you how I do my eyebrows. So I just frame, I actually um, start by sketching them out lightly, very lightly, grabbing product as I go and then I start making the tip of my brows darker because the tip of your brow is supposed to be darker and the um middle part is supposed to be lighter so I just start darkening up the end of it and I go in lightly as I get to towards the front so yeah you just start working your way um doing light strokes now I'm gonna do my other eyebrow then magically my other eyebrow is on so yeah I don't have eyebrows simply because I don't have eyebrows and I don't have a lot of hair so um, these are my concealers that I use I use this one when I'm not really doing anything big but I'm gonna use this one my Mac Pro concealer because it's quicker, it's easier. I use one pump and that's it. And we're gonna save product by using that one pump and that one pump only. No wasting products here, girls, not with me. So you're gonna go in and clean your eyebrows.
So I was trying to find the light there, but so this is what I do. I just clean up the bottom. I don't know why it keeps getting bright like that. But just, you know, imagine that this brush and the concealer is like an eraser and you're just cleaning up your brows and making them look more cleaner, uh, fixing any mistakes. <clears throat> then I bring the concealer down to my lid. So here we go, saving product. That's going to work as your base, a base is something that you could put on your lid whether it be eyeshadow base or whatever that helps keep your eyeshadow on so this is a trick that I do that helps keep my eyeshadow on so once again you know we're using that one pump we're gonna use it for to clean your brows and then also as eyeshadow base so just bring it down to your lid and then um, rub it in with your fingertip now I'm going to clean the top of my eyebrow and I'm just trying to I know I look a little funny but I'm just seeing if the camera could see it's kind of hard doing it's very very hard doing uh, makeup tutorials to make sure you got the right angle and everything make sure you could see make sure I could see yeah I got it <laughs> so I'm just doing my other one <clears throat> my other eyebrow cleaning that up showing you guys a little bit and then I just you know blend it out with my fingertip make sure everything on fleek <clears throat> blend them blend it out with your fingertip make sure it doesn't look too harsh okay you're not gonna throw that away that's the end of it you're gonna use that to highlight under your eyes and to cover your circles so you're going to use the last little bit that you have left on your hand. You're going to blend that in with your fingertip. Pat it underneath your eyes. So we used one drop for to clean our eyebrows for our base of our eyelid and now to highlight. So what's up? So you're going to blend that in the bottom. Make sure it's nice and blended. Then you're going to set it with your powder, whatever powder you choose. This is um, mineralized skin finish in medium. So whatever powder you choose to set the bottom of your eyes, make sure it's just a little bit lighter to bring some light into your face. And I also put some on top of my eyelids just to set that concealer. You have to set your concealer as soon as you're done putting it on because it will crease. If you don't want it to crease, you put your powder right on top of it really quick. Yes, success. <laughs> now we are going to contour with the Pro Concealer LA Girl. Oh, so what I'm saying is do not squeeze the product out if you're putting it directly on your face. I'm just using the leftover product that was on there on the brush. So do not squeeze this directly on your face because this product is very dark. So I'm just using the leftover excess. So now I'm using my small stippling brush. It's called a stippling brush. It's like my Techniques, Real Techniques brush, but it's just smaller. So you use that to blend out your contour, make it look nice and smooth. So bam magically it's nice and smooth so I just grabbed a smaller brush to blend out my nose contour so I'm blending that out and then I'm gonna take it to my eyelids I have what you call hooded eyelids so that's just like it has like skin on my lid so I like to contour up to my lid as well so you're gonna see me do that in a minute you're gonna see me contour my eyelid there you go so you know some people they have like deeper set eyes and they have a better you know crease which I don't really have um, 
a crease it's just pretty much kind of like skin so you know everybody's born different everybody's different everybody got different type of eyes different type of face so you know I just like to make it look a little bit um, make my eyes look a little bit deeper set with contour So I'm just showing you I'm going in with um, what the color of eyeshadows I'm going in with. So I'm going to be using this NYX. It's like a like a white pearly um, shade. I don't know the color, but I'm just going to put that all over my eyes. You could use like a nice white or beige color. So I'm putting that all over my eyes, as you could see. Like a base. Then I'm going to go in with my brown script. And I'm looking for my brush, where is it? Okay. I'm going in with my brown script. Showing you how I blend that, slowed it down so I could show you how I blend my eyeshadow. So I'm not using any product here, I'm just using a dry small brush to blend out the front. So this is the way I do my eyebrows. If you don't like my eyebrows, don't do it this way. Obviously do it however you want. So I'm going to start with my contouring powder and I'm going to intensify that contour with my powder, my Smashbox powder that I got at Sephora.
So now with my Mac Studio Fix, I'm just blending everything together and making sure everything looks nice and blended. So this look actually took me uh, less than 30 minutes. So, you know, it's a quick look, uh, something just to throw on. If you don't have much time and you have children that are bugging you and you need to get out the door to go shopping, uh, that's this type of look. So this is my Revlon Color Stay liquid foundation it's matte and it stays all day i love it it's my favorite so of course mascara times just throw some mascara on your eyelashes so this little girl comes in crying because her dad won't let her iron no, little girl, you cannot iron. You'll get burned. <laughs> so now it's time for blush. Just throw a little natural looking color blush. And now I'm going to start highlighting with my MAC highlighter. You could put any highlighter you have. You just put it down the bottom of your nose. You know, as you could see. So, my simple shopping outfit a black long sleeve shirt with my Victoria's Secret pink ultimate yoga pants. Comfortable and